from your weather authority, meteorologist Ron Rhodes. Synchronize your watches. It's now 11.31.30 at 4.37 a.m. on Saturday. That is the vernal equinox. So there you go, equal day, equal night. We've already seen our equal day, equal night. Now, that was a couple of days ago. It was 6.59 the sunrise, 6.59 the sunset. So we're already seeing a little bit longer days than night. No complaints here about that. As we take a look outside, you might complain about the forecast today. Even though it's not terrible, we are seeing the temperatures already sliding, and we will continue to see that trend continue. I see the, that trend continue anyway uh, throughout the day and night. Even it's going to be a kind of a slow slide. We've already got some 40s out there on the board. You're noticing our Superior Ag camera that is looking down from Deaconess Gateway at Evansville's east side. The traffic on 66 headed into the Lloyd Expressway in Vandenberg County, and you can see also high I-69. Things are looking pretty good. The winds though going to be a pretty big factor throughout the afternoon. wasn't a big factor early this morning, but it's going to be 10 to 20, so it's going to be whipping pretty good. And then the wind is actually going to ramp up later on tonight to 15. 25 miles an hour as the temperature drops down to around freezing. So first thing tomorrow morning, it's going to be right around freezing, 32 degrees, and it's going to feel like 22 or 20. So that's going to be a big change of pace over today when we woke up. If you went outside early enough, I mean, the temperature's right around 60 degrees. So yeah, about a, <laughs> a feels like temperature about 40 degrees different uh, between this morning and tomorrow morning. So but, I mean, we're going to be okay during the afternoon. Plenty of sunshine, but still plenty of wind tomorrow, too. So the wind's going to be with us, even though the rain's going to taper off later on tonight. We haven't seen much of any rain uh, during the morning. Most of it was pre-daybreak, as we saw the overnight hours. Another third of an inch of rain here in Evansville. We had about a third of an inch of rain yesterday, too. So we've had a little over six-tenths of an inch over the past 24 hours. Really 24-plus, but... We're noticing right now a shaky Heads Construction Tower cam shot looking down upon Highway 41, but still got some sunshine beaming through the clouds. And right now the temperature is 55 degrees. West-southwest wind at 15 miles an hour. So, yeah, it's got a bit of a kick to it out there. And it's going to be in that 10 to 20 range. Going to shift a little bit more to the west and then to the, the north as we head through the afternoon as that low-pressure system moves in. How low can we go? I don't think we can do a run. It's too wide of a range. Look at this. We've got upper 40s where the temperature's already starting to drop west of the Wabash, still in the low 60s to the east, but temperatures fallen here in Evansville over the past couple of hours. 57 in Owensboro right now, still 61 in Madisonville though, but 40, uh, 54 degrees right now in Morgan Field. And wind speed wise, look at these winds now, 23 miles an hour Dixon, 23 in Madisonville, 21 in Owensboro. Uh, most of us in that 10 to 20 mile per hour range, but a few exceeding that by a little bit. Check this out right here, giving a big shout out do a little dog who's wearing the Dealey Bobbers in honor of St. Patrick's Day. That is a very festive Tucker. Uh, and Deborah Gray is the one that sent that picture in right there, took that picture of Tucker. Tucker doesn't seem to mind the, the Dealey Bobbers. Maybe he's an Irish dog. It would be kind of cool if he was an Irish setter. Wouldn't that be cool? Uh, anyway, I don't really see a lot of Irish setters anymore. I'm sure somebody will send me a picture here pretty soon, right? Uh, on the rivers now, we've had that rain, and of course we had a wealth of rain in southern Illinois. That's where most of the rain was had. Uh, we're better than two and a half inches of rain in some areas. Now, the rivers, yeah, Ohio and Evansville, of course, it's been dropping here of late after being above flood stage earlier this month. But now we've got it at 24.1, should be cresting on Wednesday, so in about a week, at 34.6. So it's going to be just under flood stage, so at least it stays below. Not the case of Wabash and Mount Carmel. Right now, a little over 13 feet. It's going to rise to almost 21 feet, it looks like right now. So about two feet above flood stage there, cresting next Thursday. And then 18.4 on Sunday is the Green of Calhoun, so that's going to stay below flood stage. Right now, it's just under 17 feet. The White at Petersburg. That is going to rise back above flood stage. Right now, it's about 12 and a half feet. It'll be about 19 and a half feet on Tuesday, so about three and a half feet above flood stage. The Wabash, Little Wabash anyway, Carmi, already above flood stage. It's going to rise a few feet more before it begins to start falling. As we take a look at live first warning Doppler radar, a little bit of rain up to the north. Showers, mainly light rain showers. Got a few moderate pockets, small moderate pockets of rain. And notice how we got a bit of a change in direction. Earlier today, we saw the rain ahead of that low pressure system moving from south to north. Now we're starting to see it move from northeast to southwest. That's a sign that's on the back side of that low because it's going to wrap around that area of low pressure. So we know the low is starting to move into southern Illinois. We know the temperature is starting to fall there because we're looking at the temperatures too. Nothing shaking though in the Evansville metro right now. Getting a good look at this area of low pressure. And again, here go the rain showers as they wrap back around this low pressure system. Out ahead of the low, they're moving south to north. So pretty cool picture right here. And as that low moves in, again, we could be seeing a few cold air funnels today. We've got that possibility. Cloud Clouds really starting to swallow up the sky to the west. Still plenty of breaks, though, as you look to the east, at least for now. 
as we see down to the south. Still some headaches to deal with, too, as far as the severe weather is concerned. Look at all those tornado watches uh, down across the southeastern U.S., and they've got a threat for severe weather all up and down the coast, or at least up and down the mid-Atlantic coast. So they could see some tornadoes again today. There's a moderate risk out there for the Carolinas, both North and South Carolina, especially right along the coast. For us, though, a much calmer day. And again, we've got the rain. A better chance of rain is going to come later on this afternoon. Just a few spotty showers over the next couple of hours. And then that tapers off later on tonight. The clouds are going to break up overnight. We should see a better dose of sunshine tomorrow. Problem is, it's going to be chilly from start to finish tomorrow. In fact, it's going to be downright cold first thing tomorrow morning. And then we'll see temperatures rise into the low 50s. Well, for the most part, temperatures dropping through the 50s today. Clouds and some sunshine still out there, especially to the east. Uh, breezy, cooler, scattered showers again picking up a little bit later on this afternoon and evening. Still not looking at a whole lot more rain on top of what we've already seen. South wind's going to shift to the north, first to the west and then to the north at around 10 to 20. And gusts even higher than that, of course. And then temperatures chilly tomorrow because the rain tape off tonight, 52 degrees for a high. Plenty of sunshine Saturday and Sunday. Like what I see in the afternoon. Sleep in, though. It's going to be right around freezing both days, but the wind's going to give us a break, and that'll be nice. And then the rain chance next week. We'll I'm worry not, about I'm that not later. Look that. Yeah, yeah not please look block that. that. Don't block this, though. This is great. This is from Tara Miller, and she has a drone. This was actually yesterday morning, and she sent me this picture, and you can see the fog along oh, the yeah. horizon there. Really a cool shot, and that's the cool thing about these drones. They can get up above a lot of these buildings, kind of like what our tower cams do. Sure. And shoot, and you just see so much of the sky. It's really kind of a it's cool so sight right there. But Tara, thank you so much. There it is. Well, that's not her. That's right. That was, there it is right there. there. It is. Tara Miller, thank you so much for that great Thank you, Tara. Good job. We'll be back with more after this.